Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Amit Kabishayon. I work as the business development manager at WeDevs and you are joining me tonight for the WPERP webinar that we host fortnightly. So how are you doing? What have you been up to? Have you been taking full advantage of the WPERP webinar? And where are you joining from? This is the question I want to ask our viewers before we join by the experts. Post your comments to let us know where are you joining from. Today, we will be discussing a very critical and very common aspect of an ERP solution. As we all know, enterprise resource planning is basically a complex solution. It includes a lot of features, a lot of operations, which helps the businesses and also organizations to accomplish their uh, goals and objectives. Today, we're going to talk about uh, an aspect of HR, which is basically the leave management. As we all know, as an employee of an organization, we all have to take leaves. Leave is a particular practice and exercise which allows the employee to make sure they can take time off from their work when they're not feeling well or they have some other commitments and they can come back to their work when they are fit and ready to be going. And in order to tell us in details, we, from an expert point of view, we have not just one, two experts with us today. Joining me right now is Mr. Maksud Rafan and Mr. Mehdi Hassan. We have two of them, Maksud Hi. Bhai uh, and uh, Mr. Maksud and Mr. Mehdi both are part of the ERP team. So Maksud Bhai, I'll start with you. Would you please introduce yourself for the viewers? Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Maksud. Uh, I, I'm working as a product owner of the uh, WP ERP. And we get. Thank you. And Mehdi Bhai, uh, as the support ninja, but I'm still I'll ask you to introduce yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Sun. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Mehdi Hassan, uh, working as a support engineer for WPERP. And I will basically answer your questions today. Great. We have both the experts here, and we will start with uh, something very, very uh, interesting, I suppose. So, Maksud, uh, what are we discussing today? Well, uh, that's a very good question to ask. If you ask me, uh, we will be discussing on the leave management system. You know that we have released uh, a WPRP 1.6.0 uh, just uh, the beginning early this month. So we have some major release uh, on that uh, particular. We have some major feature release on that particular uh, occasion. So we'd like to discuss about that, and also we'll give you some uh, hints, like which is upcoming uh, in our uh, next ERP releases. Great, then. So uh, we can begin with our um, session then. So uh, I guess one of you are going to share your screen. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to share my screen first. Uh, to begin with, uh, let me tell you something and brief. Uh, we'll be having a very short session today. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let me do so. Please let me know if you can see my screen. Yep. OK, great. So. So basically, I believe we had very, in our earlier, very first webinar, we have discussed about the HR, how it works. So I'm not going to go, everyone, every, people might think that we are going, are you going to do the HR, HR around uh, work through or not? But this session, we'll do the leap management, as you said earlier. Uh, so before we, leave, we start the leap management, we will have to do some, uh, thing ready for you guys uh, so let's begin with like like let's begin with the designation and department and employees so before we started the leave management we definitely need employees for this uh, leave management how it works uh, so so like you said here we have some employees created earlier uh, employees need to assigned to a particular department and also have to be under some designation of so on. So basically, uh, here we have a Mike Tyson, uh, Lila, excuse me, Lila Ali, Muhammad Ali and uh, 
Rockford, Floyd, Mayward. These basically the boxing players I have uh, mentioned yep. here. So let me let me introduce. Let me add a new user. Let's say uh, it's my name here. I'm sure everybody knows this thing, how to create the employees, but I'm going to run through this through again so that they can easily understand uh, if anything missing on their end. Yeah. Uh, please feel, feel to ask all our questions uh, if you have any. So, sure, I will ask you, like, so anyone can create an employee or uh, in order to create an employee, you need a certain uh, permission in the system. And that's a good question. Yeah, definitely no one can, uh, everybody cannot uh, have that permission to, uh, create an employee, uh, definitely HR manager or admin can create the employees. And also, is it possible that the HR manager can assign a particular person of the HR team who can also create uh, employees or manage employees? Right. I mean, if you give them, not the HR manager, it's basically admin can give them the permission. Great. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to give the designation here like say it's a hr manager let's say it's under the department uh also it will be let's say it's, uh, i'm gonna i have created several married status uh employees so i'm gonna keep this employee single because we are we are going to get some uh you know uh leap policies so that's why we need some married uh, marital status, someone needs to single, someone needs to be married person. So I'm going to keep this user as a single person. So let's create this employee here. Oh, sorry. I uh, need to fix the hiring date. Email address, sorry. So that. So as soon as you create an employee, it's basically landed on it, it will landed you on a employee profile page. That's a that's a summary of an employee status. I mean, all the information you have put it in while creating the employee. So I'm not going to create a department or designation. You all know how to create a department and designation. Uh, so so you see the the here you see the employer numbers under a particular department, particular designation, sorry, my bad. So before we start with the leave, we have to create the date. We used to have the leave year earlier. So so we used to have the financial year before. We create this financial, leave, financial year uh, to under HR, that's a leave year. We can we need to create a leave year. I have prepared the leave year earlier. No, sorry, I haven't prepared this one. Let's say it's 2020. Leave year is important. Leave year is important because you know, before we uh, apply for this sort of leave, we need to have a leave, particular leave year. We didn't have, uh, we were not supposed to uh, apply for leave for future year. From now, from in this release, we have uh, we have given these facilities to uh, employee can apply uh, for future year. Like if you are in December, you you are not able to uh, apply for leave on January or next year January or February. So now on you can do that. So that's why you need to create the leave year at the beginning. Then we need to create, I'm gonna create the 2001 as well because we are, I'm gonna uh, apply for next year leave. So definitely I need to create one. So that's 21st and then that year will be in the 31st of January, uh, December. So now save this leave year. Going back to the HR again under leave. So before we apply for any sort of uh, leave, we need to create the leave policies. 
So leap policy is something that you have to have in your system. Unless you have a leap policy, you, the employee cannot leap, uh, apply for the leave. So before you get the leave policy, you need to get the leave type here. So it's maybe casual leave. It's probably have probably need annual leave. I'm gonna create all the leaves here. Uh, there, I'm, I'm gonna show you also. I'm also show you why you need this this kind of leave uh, at the beginning of the year. So let's say we have a marriage leave, we have uh, sick leave. We have paternity leave. So I would like to interrupt, Raksul. We have a comment coming up from um, Tejas Vini Harit. Uh, the comment is, hi there. Why the designations and department names are not in an alphabetic order? The data looks unsorted without it. Before you answer the question, I believe it's just the, I think this is just my experience. It could be based on the way I have input the data. If I input the data in lower order or like a lower case, it will appear in lower case. Isn't it right? Uh, yeah, so basically it is. Uh, it sorts based on the um, designation or department, whatever, uh, that we created first. Like if you create the uh, uh, marketing department first, it will be uh, shown in the top. And then later, if you uh, create the uh, HR department or any other department, that will be created later uh, in, in, the, in, in, the, in the sort of that. So do I have an option where I can basically filter or sort my name of the marketing or departments or uh, teams that I have? Is there a way to sort and filter based on uh, alphabetic uh, order? Uh, no, uh, you cannot sort at this moment. But uh, yes, that's, that can be a good addition uh, to have a sorting option uh, here. OK, thank you. So Maxwell, um, floor is yours. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. the uh, comments, so, just Vini. Yeah, so as I created the leaf here, so the, all the leaves is listing up here. So if I'm going back to the leaf policy, I'm not going to create all the leaf policies here. I'm going to create a few of them. Uh, be before we start the creating the leaf policy, let me tell you something. Here, we will. I, we used to, we, we didn't have like that facilities to copy the leaf uh, policies. Now, from now on, you can create the leaf policy uh, and uh, copy it for the next year. So it basically saves you time. Uh, so let me create the leaf policies at the beginning. So we are, the, the, for the leaf, creating a leaf policy, it is very important to give a leaf year. So which year you are making this leaf policy. As we are in 2020, we will definitely create select the 2020. Uh, you probably remember the way uh, in the from the setting I have created the financial I mean leave year that's 2020 and 2021. So I'm still I'm going to select a 2020 and leave type is coming from uh, the policy uh, the leave type I keep uh, prepared earlier. So let's say it's an annual leave. Uh, if you want, you can add more additional leaf from here, it will go back to that uh, leaf type page. So, so you have that chance to jump on to going back and forth to uh, leaf type from here. So as I selecting, as I selected the leaf type as an annual leaf, then you can give a description, it's optional. Uh, here, the days, it basically depends on how many annual leave you offer in your organization. This, uh, I'm going to put 15 uh, in this occasion and applied after. It's basically mean how when this type of leave uh, will be applicable for employee. Like if I join today, I'm not going to enjoy this leave type uh, right away. So I need to wait at least 30 days, 60 days. It is 90 days. It depends on company policy. So I'm going to select right uh, applicable after in this box. I'm going to select 90 days. So that means after you complete your 90 day service period in the organization, you will have 
this leave, you will be eligible for annual leave. Then and, uh, we need to check on the uh, employee, uh, entitle the new employee, these two boxes. Uh, uh, we, we do have the facilities in our new leave management system that you this annual leave can be uh, created as per department, as per designation, as per location. So you maybe have the, probably engineering. I have created several departments: engineering, support, marketing, and nature. Probably engineering department may enjoy 15 days annual leave, but other departments may not be enjoy that uh, type that amount of days. So it's probably uh, 15 of uh, 20 days. It's probably 12 days. It's probably and uh, 10 days, something like that. So in in our new system, you have that privilege to. Uh, this to, uh, to to give them annual leave uh, or any sort of leave on uh, as they are required so i'm gonna put all all the departments uh, it's it's going to be as i mentioned earlier it, it the designation can be an option like the HR manager can enjoy different type of uh, leave uh junior enjoy, engineer can be enjoyed uh, different type of leave so leave days actually so I'm not gonna put that. As, I'm not gonna select any of these. I'm gonna select all designation, and I'm gonna select the all location. And this policy will be uh, also applicable for any sort of like matter, uh, male, female, or other. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we when while we create the, the employee, we need to make sure we give them the marital status or gender. Like if you select male and you apply, you create a leave policy for paternity leave, then the leave policy, the leave particular leave policy will be applicable only for the male who is unmarried, who is married, sorry. So I'm gonna select here the all. And I'm gonna I'm gonna select the marital status all. So I'm gonna select and and create another policy that will uh, basically differentiate this gender and the marital status. So that's coming after this one. So by uh, just a second, I'm just uh, interrupting you. Sure. Uh, this will be sure. that will be uh, easy to understand for the uh, people uh, if I uh, sort it. Basically, this is the filtering to whom you want to assign this uh, specific. Uh, leave policy that you are creating like you are creating a maternity leave policy right so uh, everyone in your own organization not gonna uh, having that uh, leave policy this is particularly for the female employees uh, so you, you can sort with that with their uh, marital status and uh, their gender same as for the uh, department and the designation this is basically sorting the employees uh, if you do not want to have that leave for all over the employee uh, in different companies, in different perspective, per perspectives, uh, people may have uh, different type of leave policies for their different type of employees, or may have uh, a policy for the engineering department, and uh, for the uh, they, they may have a different policy for the other department. So this is basically uh, filtering the employees and uh, assigning the policy uh, to the um, uh, to the employees that are belongs to that uh, designation or departments. So carry on. Yeah, thanks for adding uh, with me. Uh, I'm gonna by this time I have created one maternity leave, and now I'm going to create the uh, another leave type that is paternity leave. So it's going to be male, and it's going to be single person. So in other so, words, this is basically a custom leave policy that you can create for uh, any group, any team, and whatever way your organization is set up, you can use WB ERP to set those policies. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. This is the basically you have flexibility to have any kind of policy uh, for your um, different uh, designations, different departments, uh, different uh, different uh, marital status or, um, or, or, or all over the, your employee. So uh, in a organization, uh, they have basically uh, different type of policies in their leave system. So before letting an employee to create the leave uh, request, 
they need to have the leave policy uh, entitled to them. So this is basically what we are doing. We are creating the leave policy and entitling, entitling them uh, into the same page uh, where, where, while creating the policy. But uh, you can also entitle it later after creating the leave policy. Uh, Maxwell Bhai will uh, show you that as well. Yeah, right. yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you need to create the leave policy first, then you need to entitle them to the employees. Okay, so like I mentioned, like this is, uh, you can see like the annual leave is applicable for all departments, all designations, all locations, all gender and all marital status. And the same thing with the maternity leave and paternity leave, here you can see the differences. Like it's for family, female and married person and it's for the male and the single person. Uh, sorry, it should be male, uh, married as well. So as soon as you create the leave policy, you need to entitle them to the employees. So here you, when you go to the leave entitle, entitlement page, you can see like everyone's leave status. Like let's say my name is up here. So it's a paternity leave, I can have uh, 10 days, then Muhammad Ali, then have 10 days, that's a paternity leave. Uh, Ali, that's as long as, uh, Laila is a female, uh, she's married, so that's why she's eligible for a maternity leave for 90 days. Uh, Mike, Ty she, Mike Tyson is eligible for annual leave for 15 days. Again, the Laila is eligible for annual leave for 15 days. So here you will see, first, you need to create the leave policy, then you need to entitle them. So and also you can see that when this leave type is valid, this is for the year 2020. So it's, it starts from January 1st to 31st, inside the 31st of December. Uh, this is the here, this is the leave uh, entitlement for the throughout the 2020 uh, and for, for this particular year actually. Okay, uh, let me, uh, let me switch. Uh, I believe I showed this earlier, but let me switch this one. Uh, as an employee first, then I, how this leave type is, uh, how can the employee apply for the leave uh, from this uh, particular occasion? So I'm gonna show this one right now. So here you can see the take a leave uh, on your employee dashboard. I'm, a, I'm signing as a, I'm signing as a Mike Tyson here. So I'm going to take apply for a leave. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we are supposed to uh, uh, we, are, we are supposed to apply for the particular year. I mean current year. Now we can apply for the next year leave. So uh, if before we create uh, before we apply for the next year, you definitely have to have a leave policy created earlier one for 2021 then we can create apply for the 2021 leave so as we create only 2020 leave policy and entitle them to the employees so we select 2020 and then see we haven't i have we haven't seen all the leave type uh, leave type here only uh, mike tyson is eligible for annual leave so that's why annual leave is available for him so you can see the 15 days available for him uh, then let's say it's applied for 1st of July to 3rd of July. And as, as, as soon as you apply for the year, I mentioned the year, you will show, see the when the counting date number, like uh, which is if it's a working date, then it shows the uh, one, two, one. If it's not working date, then it will show the zero. Let's say if it's apply for Saturday, then it will show the zero days. So we have a question from DUV. Uh, we're actually rec um, recognizing the question that was posted through the registration link. So DUV asked, I have leave starting from half day and to end half day. Basically, he's asking if we have half day leave feature or not. Maybe I think we have a question for the answer for this. Yeah, this sure, is the most sure. demanding, demanding feature. And um, if I reveal the secret, uh, we have already uh, developed it. 
and we are waiting for the release. Uh, basically, we are uh, we will release this uh, with the WPERP Pro. Uh, this is the first time I am I I I am saying uh, we are going to have the WPERP Pro in the uh, very soon. So yes, okay. this will be uh, this will come with the WPERP Pro and very soon. Okay, thank you so much for that. So uh, maybe uh, we can continue with the presentation. Yeah. So. So as I mentioned, like you need to apply for select the dates and you need to select the reasons. Uh, I type the reasons, apply for uh, less I apply for vacation. So then you need to hit the send leave request button. So we can see another question from Al Sujao Dola. Do you have any plan to include cash flow feature in the accounting module before the experts answer? I will simply mention that uh, I'm taking note of the question. Uh, we will be discussing this in the accounting discussion. As you are aware, uh, WPERP comes in three uh, uh, major sections. We have the HR section, then we have the accounting section, then we have the uh, CRM section. These are all modules. So in the accounting module, we can discuss the cash flow uh, feature. So thank you for the question, Al Suja. We'll discuss this when we discuss the accounting portion. So we'll jump to the presentation again. OK, thank you. So I was uh, logged in as a Mike Tyson. So now I'm going back to uh, as an admin. So you can see here the Mike Tyson in the admin panel. You can see see here that in the Mike Tyson has applied for the annual leave from the first of July to third of July. Uh, he is available the 15 days. It is still pending, and the reason is written up here. And as it is not approved yet, it's it's uh, it's it's empty. So as long as soon as the uh, HR manager or admin approve it, approves it, it approves or rejects it, it basically uh, shows the uh, who did approve it, uh, who actually uh, rejected. So let's say I'm going to approve this one. It's not mandatory to give the reason, but I am going to leave a reason here. So I think uh, we have Simon Schiffer who actually mentioned that he, wa he was looking at WPERP for their CRM and staff management solution. Simon, please send an email to marketing at WPERP.com. Again, that's marketing, one word, M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G, and uh, at WPERP.com, and someone will be there to assist you with that. Uh, I'm going to remind the viewers that we're at the halfway of our webinar, and we need to uh, uh, mention that there is an offer available uh, since you have joined this webinar and you're investing your time, you can simply um, for, fill up a form. The link will be displayed in the live text that is flowing underneath the screen, I think, anytime now. So the link is for bit.ly forward slash webinar reward. That's it. All small caps, so webinar reward. And you will get a 50% discount coupon to buy WPERP. Uh, viewers, please keep posting your comments as we have a very short webinar this week. So I will ask our experts to continue. Thank you. Thank you. So going back to the uh, approval process, so as I've approved, I've approved this leave for Mike Tyson, you can see the available days has reduced to 12 days. It was 15 days earlier. And uh, you can see the uh, reason the uh, appro uh, approver uh, right uh, now. Sorry, this re this reason is from the uh, employee, and you can see the app uh, approval when this request has been approved. As the admin approved it, so it's mentioned on the top is admin. So if I going, I'm not going to spend much time here. So I'm just going back to the employee. Mike Tyson, how it shows up there. Uh, let me see, show you there. So I'm going to uh, go his profile. So I'm, if I go to the leave tab, I can see like this one has been approved by the admin. So it says it's approved and I can see my annual leave has been reduced by three days and the um, available days is 12 is showing up here. So going back to annual, uh, admin. So this is how the leave request works. This is how the leave policy is created and the entitled 
to the uh, employee and if you go back if you go to the hit the calendar you can see uh, if i go to the maksudbai can i interrupt for a second please sure sure uh, basically uh, we have not shown the uh, leave entitlement we can entitle a leave policy in two different way as you already uh, seen we can entitle when creating the leave policy directly i mean that above part you have seen that the, uh, basically for the leave policies and the uh, filtering um, you, you have seen the designation department marital etc this is basically for the entitlements the means you can entitle a leave policy uh, on the same page while creating the policy and if you do not th uh, do think that uh, you need to have uh, entitle a uh, policy letter uh, or the employee that uh, came after the uh, um, creating the policy so you can then uh, entitle the leave, uh, the same policy again uh, going through the uh, leaves and the uh, leave entitlements so uh, the part is basically as simple as like you have created employee uh, when uh, you just set up your uh, hr system they have their uh, designations departments well you have employee now as per your company policy i mean leave leave days policy you can have casual uh, you can have uh, 10 days or 15 days for your casual leaves that depends on the uh, company policy you can have several type of leaves uh, casual leaves uh, sick leaves uh, annual leaves marital leaves paternity leaves uh, and, and so on so you need to create the leave policy before creating the leave policy you need to have the leave type and leave year these two things is prerequisites so once you have the leave policy uh, leave uh, leave types and uh, leave year created you can create the leave policy let's say you are creating the uh, leave policy for a uh, casual leave okay you can entitle that uh, leave policy while creating uh, in creating the policy otherwise you can entitle from it from the leave entitlement once you are done entitling your leave policy the employee will be able to create their leave request that means you need to have leave policy created with the leave entitlement uh, before uh, letting the employee to create the uh, leave, uh, leave request so this is the process uh, all you are all set you have created leave year you have created leave types you have created leave policies you have entitled that leave um, policies and then uh, employees those who got this policy like say those who got this um, uh, maternity leave type uh, policy they will be able to apply for this leave uh, they can give multiple type as a employee i i am as an employee for mudevs uh, i have uh, four different types of leave policy so i can apply for uh, leave um, based on the policy and based on the available days i have this is the total workflow and the other options in uh, uh, we have in the leave entitlements must be if you hover over the leave uh, management system uh, your cards are it's a request this is the request where uh, you get a request from the employees and all, all of the requests like say you have got 10 uh, leave requests from your 10 different employees today and that will be available on your uh, request request section this is the leave entitlements where you can end, uh, entitle a, a leave policy uh, afterwards um, if you do not want to uh, entitle the policy while creating the policy and you have two more options holiday and calendar uh maksud bhai will uh, show you that uh, further but uh, i was just wanted to uh, make it this uh, an overview or make it the simple the process whole process you need to follow thank you thank you adrita says thank you uh, for this insightful wprd webinar adrita thank you for joining also viewers please check the link uh, bitly forward slash webinar reward to avail 50% discount. So Ankit says still there are limited functions on your options in your leave management system. Thank you for pointing that Ankit. We always value the feedback and the comments that we get from uh, our well-wishers, the external stakeholders, our customers, our clients, and also competitors. Uh, and uh, we would in invite you to join our webinars in the future. Someday, perhaps, we will be able to meet your demands so we'll continue with the presentation uh, basically in order to reply it <laughs> one case <laughs> just a second sorry uh, we have developed the leave management system in really in an advanced way so this is the part of the advanced leave management system uh, you will see a lot is coming in the future 
like say uh, half day leave management system, leave accrual system, carry forward leave system, leave system, and uh, leave engagement, and so on. Uh, that is related uh, related to the uh, leave management feature. Basically, we have taken the feature request from the user that every possible way people might need to use the leave management system. And we already develop it and, uh, in their uh, perspective, in their user uh, needs. So uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, let, uh, let's see what we can come up with uh, within uh, soon. Yeah, just, just to add a note with Mehdi, we have also, also have the sandwich rule. And uh, maybe, maybe mentioned leave carry forward. Uh, uh, I can have just ask, ask that. <laughs> so we, we have a leaf segregation one. Uh, so it's basically all the features will coming in the leaf pro. Uh, uh, so uh, we'll, we're expecting it will come soon. And uh, as soon as it released, we'll definitely do another webinar on uh, leaf pro. Okay, so as you mentioned, like, like uh, the calendar, you'll see how who have applied for uh, holiday from which which state to what uh, when to when to when. Let's say it's it's already he applied for, Mike Tyson already applied for January July first to July third. So if you have several employees apply for the leave, that will show up in the calendar. So it basically depends on the month, uh, which month he or she applied for the leave, that will show up here. And one thing I need to show you here. Sorry uh, to interrupt you. We have a question sure. from Jasbir Saini. How do you capture sandwich leave? Maybe you can add one or two more sentence and then continue on the sandwich okay. rule. I, I'm not going to explain to all you all, but um, what I mentioned, uh, I'm going to give you a brief description how the sandwich rule works. So let's say we have uh, an employee, can, uh, we have a holiday, of, uh, I mean, weekly weekends on Saturday and Sunday. We, one of the employees have applied for leave on Friday, and he also applied for leave on Monday. Then the sandwich will basically count the start day, which is Friday, and uh, also it will count the uh, Saturday and Sunday, including Saturday, Sunday, it will go to the Monday. So basically, it counts as the four days, consecutive days for the employee. Even if you have apply any holiday in uh, any work, any holiday in the uh, in the in the week, on um, let's say it's probably Wednesday, but you applied for leave for Tuesday and Thursday, then you will have the three days uh, leave. It does, and this will basically count the middle day. Uh, in, in, uh, which is uh, which is not working or which was not working or not, uh, you know, uh, in the weekend yep. or something. Yeah. In other words, in in other uh, solutions in ERP, they also say it as prefix and suffix. If uh, if you have prefix applied, so if there is a leave or a day off in the office before the day of your leave application. So if your uh, office opens on Monday. And Sunday is a public holiday. If you apply a leave on Monday, if you have prefix on, then both day will count as uh, a leave. And same suffix will be after the day of the application. Both together is called sandwich leave uh, operation or the sandwich leave rule. So we have a few comments coming up. We also have another comment from Shuja Dola. So how to show the employee profile picture? I cannot see the profile picture for Mike Tyson. Very uh, uh, sharp observation from Shuja. Can we see how to put a profile picture? I think this is very common, but then again, experts. Sure, Mr. Bhai, go to an um, employee profile, please. Here you can upload the profile picture. Uh, pretty straightforward. Thank you. So right. basically underneath where you have the employee, you can just go to uh, the employee and then click the photo option, upload photo, just underneath the profile. Very straightforward. So um, I'm going to remind the viewers, we only have a few minutes before we finish, but do visit bit.ly forward slash webinar reward to get 50% discount on WP ERP um, purchase. So we have a comment from Nahid. That's really interesting. Thanks for giving such an impactful information. All right. Uh, we're delighted that you enjoy it. Nahid, thank you for your impactful comments. So we'll continue with the presentation. Yeah, so this is the last thing I need to show you. That is the leave holiday. Uh, sorry, not hol leave holiday. So holidays, basically. You can add holidays from here. You can uh, type the holidays name. Uh, you can put the start date and end date. 
uh, if it's rain, then you can you need to put the enable uh, checkbox, then the engine will put up here. And you can also give the description up here. So as soon as you hit the create holidays, uh, the new holiday will be created. We also have the ability, uh, also have the uh, privilege to import holidays as CSV format or ICAL. So we have uh, given the sample CSV. So if you put the sample, if you see the sample, open the sample CSV here, you'll see uh, which type of information need to put in here. Uh, so basically, you, you have a title, you have a start date, you have end date, and the description up here. So for for to do it faster, I have prepared this earlier. So you can see the I have a couple of uh, holidays prepared uh, as per United States holiday calendar. So I'm gonna download it as a CSV. Now I'm gonna upload it to import. So While you import it, uh, sorry to interrupt again. Benjamin Ose asked in account section after I add customers and vendors, and when I want to add them from sales or purchase section from drop down, it doesn't find any customers and vendors. Uh, Benjamin, please uh, uh, use the support feature or the support uh, that we provide using the WPERT. If you have uh, an active um, subscription with us, we would be able to respond based on your subscription that we have. So I, I would certainly request you to um, use the support feature, but still, maybe if you want to add something. Yeah, basically, uh, that sometimes happens when you have a caching issue on your site or something. This is basically more likely uh, you need support from uh, me or us. So uh, I would request you to uh, contact our support center. You can write us to support at WPERP.com. And I will, of course, try you to uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. If the support ninja says that he will get back to you, he will definitely get back to you. So we'll continue with the presentation. Up, uh, all yours yeah uh, so uh, as i mentioned like you can import it to the csv the reason why is uh, uh, is basically reduce your time to going uh, typing one one uh, holiday name and start getting that and this basically a tedious job if you have uh, so many holidays to import in uh, so it's better to put in the uh, csv on an icl so as i mentioned i have prepared the sample calendar earlier and as soon as I import it, it shows up like this. Like I have two uh, holiday, uh, two holidays. This uh, this the juice holidays, and sorry, this is the juice holidays, I guess. So this kind of holidays is basically help you to import bulk amount of uh, holidays uh, in the system. So I guess that's it from my end out today. Uh, in an overview, if I uh say about the holidays holidays is basically the holidays in a whole calendar year like say in uh, 2020 we have government holidays we have uh, several type of holidays that are, are fixed as a country as a nation like say uh, that can be christmas holidays that can be uh, 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 any other labor day or uh, all over the holidays government has in a uh, calendar year so once you create the um, holidays in your um, calendar, the employee and the manager can see all those uh, upcoming leave, uh, holidays uh, on their current calendar. As an employee, when they log in to their portal, um, so they can see um, the upcoming leave policy. Like say, um, uh, we have a leave on the uh, uh, July 2nd. So it's a national holiday. Let's say it's a national holiday. So when you log in to our portal, uh, um, to our um, um, area where uh, the employee area uh, in the calendar we can see we have a, a day off in the july to, uh, july second so uh, this is basically the total uh, yearly yearly leaves as a, um, you go from the governments or um, you have policy for the based on your country and you can uh, import that policy from the csb if you do not like to uh, create the policies uh, one by one uh, in a calendar year uh, year it really have uh, based on the country but it really have 15 to uh, 15 to 30 uh, 30 days uh, day off based on the country let's say 20. so creating 20 leap uh, leap days or uh, holidays is um, uh, time consuming so what you can do is you can uh, write the leap policies uh, 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 sorry 
holiday policies, uh, holiday days, um, and the um, uh, description of it. And later, you can uh, import it as a uh, CSV to the uh, um, um, holidays. So this is as simple as that. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for adding those insightful comments. Uh, we have a few other questions that we've received. Andrew Higgins asked, how can users change the project manager label and captions to better suit their unique business model? So there are two things Andrew is uh, mentioning. Project manager label. So basically, he's talking about, I suppose he's talking about the project manager module and captions to better suit their unique business model. So he's talking about custom policies. Maybe? Uh, though we are talking about the ERP system and the lead management system, but uh, it's a completely different question about a different plugin. Uh, though it's our, another module, WP Project Manager. But um, in favor of Andrew, I can say is, uh, by default, you can have a graphical uh, uh, different type of um, uh, project manager role. It fixed manager, co-worker, uh, uh, co and, and co-workers and clients. These three uh, uh, roles comes with the WP project manager. But uh, if you need to have your unique and your very own uh, role or um, with that with that label uh, you, you have, you basically will require to custom customize the uh, capabilities and roles. Uh, so uh, this is basically a uh, thing just you just required a little customization right thank you we have uh, another uh, co question from dinesh kumar mind you these questions were submitted by the uh, people who have registered for the webinar so if you want your question to be recognized make sure next time you register you enter the question so the question is from dinesh kumar and he is saying how to set up the system for a real estate agency, specifically landlord and property notes and relationship to tenant. Um, I'm gonna answer that first and maybe um, our experts can add some uh, views to it. So uh, Dinesh, um, the ERP can be uh, set up and uh, it can be uh, uh, configured the way you want. Uh, you need to sh share basically what you want uh, from, from a support perspective, if you are a, a, a customer or a subscriber who have active license with, with us, perhaps we can cater that. And also you can go through WeLab, but that is a different thing. But in order to configure the ERP system for your real estate requirements, um, if you have very specific requirement and if you have those documentation, you can definitely share it with us. Perhaps our team will be able to assist with that. So I'll let Mehdi to add the technical comments to it. Yeah, basically, uh... Uh, every business have their own perspective, their own operations. So that can be very business to business. So uh, to suggest you precisely, I need a more details or more details, uh, your daily operations, how you like to have it. And so that I can uh, comment on part precisely uh, what you need to do or how you can manage it. But uh, it's really uh, possible to manage your um, uh, 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 system uh, or your uh, rental service or uh, rental sales or service with the ERP system. Uh, but I need to know your uh, daily operation. So uh, just uh, you can send me your um, the full requirements or daily operations to uh, me uh, through the support email. Again, support at WPERP.com. So I'll analyze your requirements and uh, will suggest the, the best possible way uh, you can follow. Maybe I think he's asking for uh, the contact, uh, sorry, construction business or something. Yeah, that can be also uh, being managed with WPERP, but it totally depends on their operations. Right. I, I yeah. certainly agree with that. So Dinesh had a follow up question, how to manage sales and accounting system, because technically the product is not ours. We only get a commission based on final sale or rental price. Thank you kindly. So Dinesh, thank you for the kind question. Perhaps uh, it will be uh, better for us to discuss this in the accounting uh, webinar when we decide it. I would request our production team to take notes. I'm also taking notes. Perhaps we can recognize it when we have the accounting discussion. We have another comment coming from Kamrut Javan Tuhin. Very informative show for users of WordPress ERP. We have Jasbir Saini saying, can you guys help us uploading data in your software if we provide you with an Excel sheet? Just be, uh, again, reiterating to all the viewers, if you have a subscription, uh, a license plan uh, with us as a uh, 
client, as a customer, we would be able to provide you whatever measures is required to assist you to get your business needs, to get to reach your objective. So just be, it depends, just contact us, just contact support. And if you have a license, uh, the support ninja himself is here. Maybe do you want to add something? Yeah, just to um, uh, say in Sasbir and uh, all the other viewers, uh, me and my whole support team is basically uh, ready to support you. So any sort of uh, help you need, that just contact us. You can uh, directly mail us to support at wprp.com or you can uh, use the contact form of, from our uh, WPRP website. So uh, we are always ready to uh, help you with your um, the problems or your query queries. So just reach us. Thank you. Uh, UX Aladdin has a very uh, interesting comment. And this has nothing to do with the WPRP or the webinar itself. So he's asking that we are addressing uh, each other as why. And what's the meaning of this word why? So uh, uh, UX Aladdin, I would kindly request you from where you're joining up. Uh, us for this webinar please write down your location and which country you're watching it from basically our uh, headquarter of WDEPS is in Bangladesh and as you are aware because of quarantine situation we are all confined within our uh, homes and we're actually doing this using uh, uh, online platform so three of us are located in three different places and the word hi is basically uh, an address uh, or uh, basically a salutation that we use to address people that are like a brother it's basically the translation in bengali of the word brother so um, you can if you have heard the song hey brother it's just just say saying hey brother but in bengali so uh, thank you for all the questions i think we have only a few more questions which was registered by our uh, users so ian gatu asked how does a user create a leave encashment request and how does one only allow a user to request once per year so basically ian wants to wants us to focus on leave and cashback and setting the policies so that a user may not be able to send a request more than once per year. Yeah, the, this is basically our upcoming PCR as uh, we both mentioned, uh, we, this will come with the pro version. So I think uh, uh, we'll have a different uh, webinar with the uh, um, advanced leave management system. I mean, the pro features that comes with the uh, pro okay. version. So uh, what I can say you now is, uh, yes, uh, we have also we will also have the leave in encashment feature uh, that will come very soon with the WPRP Pro, and we will of course show you how uh, an employee can uh, request for the leave uh, encashment. Right. Thank you so much. I'm going to remind our viewers that we only have just a few minutes before we uh, end our uh, particular presentation. So UX Aladdin mentioned that he's from Indonesia. So uh, uh, Aladdin, thank you so much. Uh, in, in, I, I hope you got the answer. Uh, um, Muslim brothers at times uh, address um, each other as brothers in different language. Again, that was just how we say in Bengali. So we have a last question from um, Basim. Uh, Basim Kozam, he asked how to set groups of staffs that work different days. We are a construction company and the office staff work five days a week, Monday to Friday. The site staff can work six days a week. So as per my understanding, Basim Kozam is asking of different shifting or different days of work for separate uh, departments or teams based on the organizational needs. Yeah, Maybe. basically, uh, <clears throat> as you mentioned, you have two teams. Uh, one is the office team, and another is the, uh, uh, let's say, site team. So you need to have two different uh, shift for that. Let's say you can have, you can any, you can call it anything. Let's say, uh, considering your uh, situation, I am uh, um, um, naming it uh, the on is office shift and another is side shift. Side shift. So based on your requirement, for, let's say uh, for the uh, shift on uh, office or for the office staffs, you are having um, calling it uh, in the uh, shift for office staffs. Okay, you can set the working days for the five days that uh, is working days for you, and set the holiday um, weekends um, for that particular uh, 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 shift. And then you can have another shift uh, for the workers, the staffs that uh, work outside of your office. And you can set this particular uh, shift working days for six days. Like say you are setting uh, a, only single day as a uh, weekend for this shift. And after creating both of the shift, you need to uh, assign these two shifts to, to your employee. Like say 
you have 40 employees, 20 working uh, on the office and 20 working on your side. So uh, for the first 20 uh, that are working in the office, uh, you can uh, assign the, them to the shift one, like say that you have created for the office staffs. And the second uh, shift you can assign to the uh, employee, those who are working uh, outside the office. And finally, after uh, assigning uh, the uh, shifts, you can generate the shifts based on the party. Let's say uh, you want to have this shift running for uh, the whole July, and uh, you can you can just uh, um, um, generate that shift um, for the particular uh, time frame. You can uh, choose um, uh, week, month, or uh, year, uh, or on any sort of uh, period uh, you, 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 you like. So basically, the thing is, main thing, uh, main thing is, uh, you need to have two different uh, shift for the two kind of employees. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, I, I think uh, Basam wants to know how. I think his question is how. Is it possible? Do we have enough time to show the process? Uh, this will require uh, some time, basically, around uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I guess. Yep. So uh, as this is the uh, Basam needs, or uh, this is the uh, he needs particularly, so uh, I can definitely show him. Uh, I can have a, a personal meeting with uh, with him. So uh, what uh, he can do is uh, he can uh, contact me through the support uh, support channel, and okay. I will uh, I will give him a uh, link to uh, take a schedule um, schedule from me with uh, to have a, a meeting. Uh, I will also have uh, I will have a, uh, a meeting over the uh, let's say Zoom or something um, let's say video video right. meeting. Or I can I can right. show him my display. So sure. Uh, so, uh, so uh, Basim, uh, thank you for your question. And uh, since this is kind of in-depth uh, answer that you are looking for, what we will be doing, our support ninja himself, uh, Mehdi, is going to uh, contact you directly to your email address using which we have registered for this webinar. And he will try to assist you with one-on-one -on -one support, troubleshooting, uh, training, whichever way it's uh, required. So, uh, viewers, um, we're at the last minute of our webinar. We Thank you for being here today. And we also uh, want to appreciate your time that you've invested being with us. Uh, we, we want to appreciate your love towards WPERP. And moreover, as each fortnight we come back, we need your support more than ever. And you can show us support by liking our Facebook page and also subscribing to our uh, ERP uh, YouTube channel, because those are the particular platforms that we use to share in-depth trainings, tutorials, articles, and don't forget to check the blog for WPRP as well. Lastly, in order to avail the 50% discount, you need to go to bit.ly forward slash webinar reward. That's one word, webinar reward, all small caps. I want to thank our expert, Maksud and Mehdi for this um, uh, demonstration, presentation uh, session, and also like to thank our uh, production team and back end we have mr atik who's been taking care of all the comments he's been ensuring that we are seen well enough who's on which focus or and all this stuff so we encourage you to share how you think that this uh, presentation has been comment in the youtube uh, live video comment on the facebook video to let us know how we can improve our initiative do you want to see a particular feature do you want us to sh show a demonstration of a particular process let us know using your comments but most importantly you can always contact us for support support at wprp.com for marketing needs that's marketing at wprp.com well, on that note i want to take uh, uh, leave from all of our experts so experts i will be joining you again uh, two weeks time from now with another topic and until then i want to uh, uh, say all the viewers uh, uh, and wish that you stay safe take care of yourself and stay home so that you can stay live. Thank you. On that note, bye-bye. Thank you, Zion, and thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching this. Bye-bye. Thank you.